In the boundless expanse of the cosmos, the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, a monument to human intellectual achievement has been engineered to pierce through the veil of time and unveil the earliest light of the universe. However, the images it has captured air afar from what we were prepared to see, challenging the very foundations of our understanding of the cosmos. The telescope trained on a corner of Theskai filled with ancient light captured what seemed like an innocuous yellow splotch. Upon closer examination, this seemingly ordinary glowing blob defied all assumptions. This wasn't just another galaxy. It was the most distant galaxy ever discovered, formed just 290 million years ago, a million years after the supposed birth of the universe. But here's the catch. It's too massive, too bright, and too evolved to have formed so soon after the Big Bang. According to our current theories, there simply wasn't enough time or matter to form galaxies like. This is in the early universe. And yet, there it is. And it's not alone. JWST has now found dozens more just like it. Each one is a cosmic paradox. Breaking every rule we thought we understood about the early universe, scientists began to dig deeper, and what they found was even stranger. Some of these early universe objects, they aren't just massive. They're completely foreign to anything we've seen before. Unlike normal galaxies, which convert about 10% of their gas into stars, JWST discovered at least three galaxies that have turned 100% of their matter into stars. No gas, no dust, just pure blazing starlight. That's not just unusual, it's impossible. According to every existing model of galaxy formation, these discoveries have led scientists to ask a far more terrifying question. What if these aren't galaxies at all? What if we're not seeing the early universe, but something else entirely? A structure from another dimension, a remnant of a previous cosmos, or an intrusion from another universe altogether. To understand why this is shaking cosmology to its core, we need to discuss the Hubble sphere and the observable universe. The farther away an object is, the faster it moves away from us due to the expansion of space. At a certain point, called the Hubble in a sphere, galaxies are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. Common sense says we shouldn't be able to see those galaxies, yet we can. That's because space itself is expanding and the boundary of what we can see keeps stretching. But beyond that boundary lies something terrifying. A region of the universe that we will never reach and that will never reach us. And yet the James Webb Telescope is now picking up light and signals from these impossible zones. JWST's data is forcing scientists to ask the unthinkable. What if the universe never had a beginning? Some Nobel laureates are now openly questioning the Big Bang model. Because if galaxies could form faster than physics allows, if light can reach us from beyond cosmic boundaries, and if structures appear that defy time, scale, and mass, then maybe we've misunderstood everything. Maybe the early universe isn't early at all. Maybe what we're seeing isn't a timeline, but a fracture, a place where two universes overlap, or worse, where something far older than our universe is bleeding through. Whatever it is, it doesn't fit into our models, and it never will. Among the James Webb Telescope's most overlooked discoveries are not a visual image, but a strange frequency. While measuring the background noise of the universe, JWST's instruments detected a faint rhythmic oscillation, one that does not match any known cosmic phenomenon. It's not a pulsar. It's not gravitational waves. It's not cosmic microwave background distortion. This frequency repeats at a precise intervals as if they were generated. Some astrophysicists have started calling it the heartbeat beyond time. Others are more cautious, suggesting it might be a signature of exotic matter, something that could exist only outside the boundaries of our universe. One of the telescope's unexpected findings is a huge imbalance between what we see and what we feel. Galaxies located at the farthest distances appear to have enough gravity to bend light, distort space, and even affect surrounding structures. Yet, no visible matter is present. This isn't just dark matter. It's something else. Some researchers now believe JWST is detecting massive gravitational anomalies that don't correlate with any known source. These phantom mass fields act like cosmic fingerprints pressing down on space-time from a place we cannot see. But where are they coming from? 
Some theorists are beginning to suggest the unthinkable. We're seeing the shadow of another universe colliding with our own. What if everything we see has a mirror image we cannot see, not metaphorically, but physically? A fringe theory once dismissed by mainstream cosmologists is gaining traction again. That there exists a mirrored universe where time flows in the opposite direction and the laws of physics run backward relative to ours. What's changed? The James Webb Telescope has captured evidence of particle behaviors and rotational patterns in distant galaxies that suggests a symmetry as if two different cosmic systems are overlapping. It's as though our universe is being pulled in one direction, while another one just out of reach is moving in reverse. In a final twist, one of Webb's long-the-range instruments were tracking a light signature from the edge of the observable universe. It was expected to fade. It was expected to disappear forever, as most light from distant sources eventually does. But then it reappeared, not from the same direction, not from the same time, but with the same spectral fingerprint as if the light had been sent out and bounced back from something. The telescope had just observed a cosmic echo but echo of what? There are only two possibilities. Either the light circled back around the curvature of the universe, which would imply that space is finite and closed, or it hit something else, something at the very edge, something capable of reflecting light, something that shouldn't be there. The James Webb Space. The telescope was built to peer into the past, to reveal how the universe began, but instead, it has done something far more terrifying it may have shown us that our universe is not alone. The impossible galaxies, the phantom masses, the mirrored patterns, the pulse, the echo. Each discovery chips away at the illusion of certainty, at the comforting, the idea that we understand where we are, when we are, and what we are. A Nobel Prize winning physicist warned it us, this is not our universe. And maybe that's the truth we were never meant to face. Maybe we're drifting on the edge of something ancient massive and indifferent, a deeper structure, a larger reality, a universe behind the universe. So now the real question is not whether we're alone in the cosmos, it's whether we're even in the right one. Let us know in the comments. Do you believe the James Webb Telescope has already seen into another universe? Or is our understanding of reality just beginning to crack? Subscribe and turn on notifications because the cosmos just blinked back and whatever it is out there has seen us. This new data challenges the fundamental assumptions of modern cosmology. It forces us to reconsider our understanding of the universe's origins, its structure, and its ultimate fate. The James Webb Space Telescope has opened a window onto a realm that was once shrouded in mystery, and what we found is far stranger and more beautiful than we ever could have imagined. But it's also infinitely more humbling. We still have so much to learn, so much to discover, and as we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what other wonders await us. The universe is vast, it's old, it's complex, and it's full of surprises. Let's embrace the mystery. Let's be curious and let's never stop asking questions because the universe in all its glory and its terror are waiting for us. The discoveries made by the James, the Webb Space Telescope has far-reaching implications for our understanding of the universe. They challenge our current models of galaxy formation, force us to question the Big Bang Theory, and suggest the existence of other universes or dimensions. These findings also raise important philosophical questions about our place in the cosmos, our understanding of time and space, and even our very existence. As we continue to explore the universe, we must remain open-minded and willing to challenge our assumptions, even those that we hold dear. The cosmos is vast and mysterious, and there's still so much to learn. In addition to the visual images, the James Webb Space. The telescope has also made significant discoveries in the realm of spectroscopy. By analyzing the light emitted by, from distant galaxies, scientists can learn about their composition, temperature, and age. With its highly sensitive instruments, the JWST can detect even the faintest of light, allowing us to study objects that were previously invisible. This has allowed us to study the evolution of the universe in unprecedented detail from the earliest moments after the Big Bang to the present day. The JWST's discoveries have also shed light on the nature of dark matter and dark energy. 
two mysterious substances that make up a significant portion of the universe. Dark matter is a form of matter that does not interact with light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation, making it invisible to telescopes. However, its presence can be inferred through its gravitational effects on visible matter. The JWST's observations have provided new insights into the distribution and behavior of dark matter in the early universe, helping us to better understand its role in the formation of structures like galaxies. Dark energy, on the other hand, is a mysterious substance that is thought to be responsible for the Aki acceleration of the universe's expansion. It is thought to make up about 70% of the, the universe's mass energy content with dark matter matter and ordinary matter making up their remaining 25% and 5% respectively. The JWST's observations have provided new insights into the 